Hey what's up guys, Luca here from Team Black Hole and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show off my hero deck profile for the upcoming format. Starting off we have three elemental hero Stratos. Best card in the deck hands down. He is a combo starter, searches your entire deck and is also good against back row with its second effect. Some people play too, but I think you have to take advantage of it being unlimited. Next for the elemental hero portion of the deck we have two Shadow Mist. The card is absolutely amazing. It searches your max change when special or searches any hero when sent to the graveyard. But you can only use one effect per turn. Next up is a new addition to the deck and that is Liquid Soldier. You only need one really. With all the searching this deck does you don't need more. So this card is very good. When it's normal summoned you can special summon a hero monster from your graveyard. You usually want to special Shadow Mist off of this effect so you can search your mass change. The second effect is basically a graceful charity type effect. When this card is sent to the graveyard or is banished for the fusion summon of a hero monster, you can draw two cards and then discard one. Similar to Shadow Mist, you can only use one effect per turn. Elemental Hero Solid Soldier is another one of in the deck. Similar to Liquid Man, you don't need more. When it's normal summoned, you can special summon one level 4 or lower hero monster from your hand and if it is sent to the graveyard by a spell effect, you can special summon a hero monster from the graveyard. This helps you to extend your place and like before, you want to special summon shadow mist off of this effect to get to your mass change. Finishing off the elemental hero portion of the deck, we have Honest Neos. OTK enabler and also serves as a form of protection for your Dark Lord. With the addition of Vision Heroes from Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge, the deck got a lot better. We have 3 Vision Hero Fires, 2 Vision Hero Increase, and 2 Vision Hero Vine. So Fires makes drawing melee not being a brick. You can discard one other hero monster to special summon this card from the hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can place one Vision Hero monster except Fires to the spell and trap zone. It also restricts you to only special summon hero monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, but we don't really care about that. Now Increase is one of the cards you don't want to draw. If it's in the spell and trap zone, you can tribute one hero monster for cost and then special this card. If it's special, you can special summon one level 4 or lower vision hero from the deck. You usually summon Vion off of this effect. It also has an effect that if you take battle or effect damage, it can place itself from the grave to the spell and trap zone. Vision Hero Vion is an old friend. It dumps a hero monster from the deck to the graveyard and also searches Polly direct from the deck, directly from the deck by banishing one hero monster from the graveyard. Next up we have the Destiny Heroes. We have 3 Destiny Hero Malicious. Broken card, broken extender, really glad it stayed at 3. You dump it with Vion or send it to your grave with Faris. Now next up we have Celestial and Dynatag. Basically just names Fusion Destiny, but they have decent effects. Celestial, when he attacks, you can destroy one face of spell card your opponent controls, and if you do, you inflict 500 damage. His second effect is better and more often used. While you have no cards in your, gra in your hand, sorry, and this card is in the graveyard, you can banish it and one other Destiny Hero monster to draw two cards. But you can't use this effect the same turn this card was sent to the graveyard. Uh, Dine attack is basically a battle trap, when you would take battle damage you can discard this card and then both players lose a thousand life points. You can also banish it to increase the attack of a destiny hero monster by a thousand points until the end of your opponent's next turn. Lastly we have destiny hero plasma. You usually want to go second with this deck but if your opponent makes you go first uh, you want to get this card on the board. It acts as one a one-sided skill drain for the opponent and has a thousand eyes restrict type of effect to equip one monster your opponent controls to it and it gains half of its original attack. Final hero monster is a dusted gold. Such as your dark calling to make malicious bane. For the hand traps we have three ash blossom, two drawing log birds, and two effect feathers. Now these should have been uh, infinite impermanences, but I don't have access access to them right now. Moving on to the spells, we have 3 mass change, 
Uh, you want to see Dark Close, so you have to play 3. It also helps dodging certain hand traps. I only play 2 emer emergency calls. I would play 3, but I don't know uh, what to cut, and uh, I think the deck searches a lot, so I, f uh, I through testing, 2 was okay, but I would like to find space for, uh, for the third one. Now, 3 Fusion Destiny. Um, it's basically a play starter and a shadow fusion for heroes. The only downside of this card now that we have Sunrise and Liquid Man is that it locks you into Dark Heroes. So oftentimes I use it um, as the last, uh, as the last, as the last thing in my turn, so uh, it doesn't conflict with Sunrise. Uh, for the one of fusion spells, we have uh, Dark Calling, Miracle Fusion and polymerization. Um, they're all searchable, uh, this gets you to malicious bane, this gets you to absolute zero or uh, sunrise and this uh, helps you make trinity. The last card in the main deck is a hero lives. Basically if you see this card and it resolves, you just win. Moving on to the extra deck we have two mask hero dark law. You, you want to make this going first. Uh, so basically uh, walking microcosmos hurts a lot of decks, you can also banish one card from your opponent's hand when he adds a card from the deck. Next up we have one Anki, he can attack directly, uh, but the damage is halved, and when he successfully destroys a monster by battle, you can search for a, a change spell card. Uh, one mass hero blast, uh, it's used on stratos to dodge hand traps. Uh, the last mass hero is acid. It is used uh, in combo with uh, Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. So basically what you do is you uh, mash, use Mash Change on Absolute Zero uh, to get Essence on the field and then um, chaining one or chaining two, depends on how you chain it. Uh, Absolute Zero destroys every monster your opponent controls and Mass Hero Acid destroys uh, every spell and trap your opponent controls. So basically um, the deck has a built-in uh, uh, Lightning Storm. Uh, with a new addition to the deck is Sunrise. Uh, it searches a miracle fusion on someone and when a hero monster battles you can target one card in the field and destroy it. For the destiny heroes we have Dystopia and Dangerous. Uh, Dystopia helps you OTK easier because it burns your opponent on summon. Also it can change its attack back to its original to destroy one card on the field. You can make dangerous if you need to get Shadow Mist to the graveyard and also has a quick effect to discard one card and then send one destiny hero monster from either your hand or deck to the graveyard. Malicious Bane is the only hero monster that has built-in protection and it comes up a lot. It has a Rugeki type effect and gains 200 attack for each monster destroyed. If you use this effect you can only attack with hero monsters for the rest of the turn. And the last fusion monster is the Big Daddy himself, Vision Hero Trinity. Double attack for the turn it summoned and can attack 3 times, that's just GG. And for the links we have 2 Cross Crusader. Uh, so on summon you can special summon a destiny hero monster from your grave. Then you can also tribute one destiny hero monster to add a hero monster from the deck to extend your place. It locks you into heroes for the rest of the turn but we don't give a fuck the whole deck is heroes. Wonder Driver is another card that contradicts with Fusion Destiny because it's light, but it's mostly used in the grind game for getting back your mass changes or fusion spells when a hero monster is normal or special summoned to the zone it's pointing to. And lastly we have Dread Decimator. It's a link tree with 3 down pointing arrows. It has piercing damage and also boosts all the heroes it's pointing to by 100 points for each hero with different names in the graveyard. So guys, that basically uh, wraps up uh, the main and extra deck. Um, now I'm gonna show off some test hands. Hey guys, welcome to the test hand portion of the video. Let's just do a quick shuffle so it won't take it set up and then we'll see. So our starting hand is gonna be... Ooh. So yeah, this is this is a good hand. Every time you see Stratos, it's good. So we're gonna start off with normaling Stratos using its effect to search 
to search Ferris. Shuffle up deck. Now we're gonna use Ferris's effect. So dumping Lion. Special summon it, and then we're gonna place increase the spam trap zone. So I'm gonna show off uh, this particular one is going to be how to easily OTK your opponent. Um, and then maybe we'll do one for going first. Now you're gonna use now we're gonna use um, increases effect to tribute of the fairs. And then uh, increase is gonna use its effect to special summon the Vion from the deck. Vion's gonna uh, trigger on use its effect on summon to dump uh, malicious. Next, we're gonna use Vion's second effect, banishing the other copy of Vion we have to search Polly. So this is our hand now. Next thing, we're gonna use Increase and Vion to go into Cross Crusader. Then we're gonna use uh, Cross Crusader's effect on summon to special summon Melee from the graveyard. Uh, then tribute of Melee with Crusader's second effect to search uh, Dusted Gold. Okay, then we're gonna banish one Melee to go for a second one. Pitch a dusted gold to go for dark calling. Then we're gonna use a poly on Stratos and Malicious. To go for Sunriser. Sunriser is gonna activate its effect on summon to search the Miracle Fusion. Now we are going to activate the second copy of Mali and go for the last one we have in the deck. of Cross Crusader and Malicious for Dread Decimator. Use Dark Calling, Banishing Malicious and uh, Dusted Gold. To make Malicious Bane. And then at the end we can uh, use Fusion Destiny to send uh, Celestial and Dynatech for Dystopia. Now this is um, this is how your sec uh, your going second board uh, can look like if your opponent doesn't have any disruptions. Um, then you can also banish the dyn attack, uh, so Dystopia can get uh, extra attack and, and a pop. Um, Sunrise uh, pops one card when uh, a hero monster battles. Malicious Bane is a uh, regeki, uh, so this is basically game on board and. You also have uh, Honest Neos uh, in your hand to, to help you OTK and if, you, you, if something happens that you don't OTK you still have um, Miracle Fusion and Fusion Destiny in your hand for follow-up plays on the, sec on the next turn. Hey guys, so now we're gonna show off uh, going first hand. Do a quick shuffle again. Let's see what we draw. 
Dusted Gold, Vion, Stratos, Faris, and <laughs> Stratos. So whenever you see these two guys in your opening hand, you know it's gonna be good. So starting off, we are going to use our Ferris, discarding the Vion. Putting Increase in the Spell and Trap Zone. Tribute of Ferris. Increase is going to special the second copy of Vion. Vion is going to dump Melee. Um, and the other effect, we can, might as well we can use it. Banish the other copy of Vion, just like before. And search for our Poly. So this is now our hand. We use these two to go into the, the cross crusader. Activate cross crusader uh, to the, to special the melee, melee, tribute of melee, and then search for destiny hero plasma. Now we are going to normal summon Stratos, activate its effect to search for the Honest Neos for added protection. Banish the one copy of Mali to go for a second one. We're gonna pitch the adusted gold. Let's put Mali here. And search for the dark calling. Activate the dark calling, banishing a dusted gold and ferris to go into malicious bane. Now tribute of this tree for plasma. Activate the last malicious. And now activate poly using malicious and the second stratus we had in hand. And we go for we go for sunrise. Now basically we have um one sided skill drain. If he wants to uh, attack over it with some uh, Pancratops or something, you can destroy it with Sunrise. This can be destroyed by Battle or Card effects, and we have an Honest Neos to, uh, to protect our Plasma. Unfortunately, we don't, we didn't see a mass change or a way to get to it, uh, so we can have a Dark Law on the field, but this is still okay. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, leave a like and uh, leave a comment also. Thanks for watching and goodbye.